The problem with Chelsea this season been inconsistency. And I'm sick and tired of giving excuses about injuries. No, Chelsea still got a team to be comfortably in top four right now. You have a very good game of football against the so-called big teams and against the so-called small teams, you drop point. I'm still very angry about Chelsea dropping point against uh, Bournemouth and also Brentford, you know, they beat us. And then we drew the second leg. And then teams like Burnley, you come to Stamford Bridge and get point from Chelsea Football Club. Unacceptable. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you want to help your brother out, subscribe, share, comment down below, all the good stuff. It doesn't cost any money. It's going to take you only one second to do it. Much appreciate it. This video is about my head-to-head -head between Sheffield United and Chelsea. Just kind of a warning to show you where the problem can come from. Compare the two teams, what they've been doing in the last uh, five games or so. So you can, you can have your own opinion at the end. Table. Liverpool, top of the table. Arsenal, second. Manchester United, third. Aston Villa, fourth. Tottenham Hotspurs, fifth. Manchester United, sixth. If Chelsea beat Burnley, they were going to be very close to Manchester United. And that makes me so angry. Chelsea are 10th, 10th FC, 11th FC, 12th FC, 14th FC. Ah, this club, man. And you go to the bottom of the table, Luton Town, Burnley, Sheffield, United. So, as you can tell, Sheffield United are the worst team in the Premier League. And some people said in the Premier League history, they are that bad. But last game they played against Liverpool, they scored a goal and everybody was panicking. So, they are not mugs. They are so bad, but on their day, they can beat anybody. The game is going to be on Sunday, April the 7th. And it's going to be 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, USA. It's going to be on Peacock, NBC Sport Network, Telemundo. <laughs> so many channels. All right. So let's go head to head. That's what we're here for. Recent meetings. Let's start by the bottom one and go top. So, August 2019, Chelsea 2, Sheffield United 2 at Stamford Bridge. And then, July 2022, they beat Chelsea Football Club 3-0 away. And then, November 2020, we beat them 4-1 at Stamford Bridge. And then, February 2021, Chelsea went away to beat them 2-1. That was before they got relegated. Then they went to the championship one season. They came back. The last game we played against them was the first leg of the Premier League. Chelsea 2, Sheffield United 0. It was a very tough game. As always, a Stamford Bridge. Moving on, let's go to form guide. So in the last uh, five games, you see Chelsea drew three of them, won two games. Look at the games that we drew. Brentford of old people. Burnley of old people. If we had all three points here, my friend, I was, I was going to be confident that we can still make it top four. Now, 
it's very difficult even to make it to Europa League unless if we win every single game from now until the end of the season. But you still have to play Arsenal. You still have to play Tottenham Hotspurs. Very, very tough. We, we, we are really, really stupid this season, to be honest. Look at the positions on the table. Chelsea are 10th, of course. And Sheffield United are 20th, bottom of the table. So no excuses. You have to beat them. Game one. Chelsea won 12 games this season. Sheffield United only won three games. Games drawn. Chelsea seven. Sheffield six. You can go to many other statistics here. And you will see that there is no even comparison. Cole Palmer got 16 goals this season for Chelsea. The second one is Nicholas Jackson with nine. Raheem Sterling still on the list. Wow. Six, six uh, goals for Chelsea. And for assists, Cole Palmer is leading even with assists. So goals and assists. Eight assists. Kano Gallagher five. Malugusto five. For tackles, this guy took over from Conor Gallagher. He put like 111 tackles. <laughs> Conor Gallagher, 69. Moises Caicedo, 60. So they are very good on tackling and they can be dirty sometimes. That tells you that you have to be careful because on their day, they can make life so complicated for you. Let me just remind you the last game just to give you an idea. In the first leg at Stamford Bridge, Cole Palmer scores that day for Chelsea 50, 54th minute. Raheem Sterling assist and Nicholas Jackson scored with uh, Cole Palmer assist 2 0. Cole Palmer was the man of the match. This guy, I have the impression that he's winning man of the match every single game that he plays. Wow, what a player we have. This is a steal. Manchester City will take us to court and demand one, <laughs> one billion because we stole him. Daylight uh, steal right there. So goals that day, one goal for Mr. Palmer. Assist one, big chance created two. Key passes was two, pass completion 92.2 successful dribbles it was two this guy is on fire the second one on the voting system here nicholas jackson with only six percent yeah it is what it is all right <laughs> so what do you think about the game people i'm making my preview video i don't want to spoil it i think chelsea will beat will beat them 3-1 because we don't really keep a clean sheet it's going to be a comfortable win if we go with uh, a good attitude and we run a lot because Sheffield United run okay they work very hard for each other they have nothing to lose they are fighting for relegation some of the players would like to impress Chelsea probably they might move to Chelsea never know so playing against Chelsea is always like a final, right? The world is watching you, you know? So it's going to be a tough game, but if we go with the same attitude, not the same attitude, a better attitude, start the game strongly, score a few goals, come back from the break, score another goal, and then you know make some changes give a chance to the youngsters from the academy here and there so yeah we have to we have to start beating teams for fun the fear factor need to come back like remember back in the day when we used like to beat teams um uh, before even we start <laughs> yeah like seriously we beat you before even we start because you're looking at yourself did Droba is there John Terry is there. Michael Balak is there. You don't even know where to start. Who are you going to mark? <laughs> oh, man, it makes no sense that today we are struggling this way. 
the two squad you can't even compare them one billion squad with a squad here that probably cost 50 million for the entire squad here so don't give me any excuse go there get three point and then let's see what's gonna happen at the end of the season